This is Master Gardener Steve from the Celtic Farm. All right, I'm out here in the garden shed and I've got this bag of fertilizer. You've probably got several sitting in your shed too. Ever looked at one of these and thought, what the heck are these three numbers that represent NPK? Let's go ahead and break it down together. So right here, you'll see these bold numbers. They can be any combination. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in that particular order. N is nitrogen. That's your leafy greens, your spinach, your lettuce, your lawns love nitrogen. It makes everything lush and green. P is phosphorus. That's for your roots, your flowers, your fruit. Think strong starts and big blooms. K is potassium. That's the overall plant health, MVP, helping with water regulation and disease resistance. You'll see all kinds of combos in the store. 10, 10, 10 is all-purpose fertilizer. Great if you're starting from scratch. Something like 3, 9, 6, that's for blooms and fruiting plants. And if you're using compost or organic fertilizers, those numbers are typically much lower, like 1, 1, 1. But that doesn't mean they're weak. They not only feed your plants, but they feed your soil as well. Labels might also mention calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. Those are secondary nutrients. Some even list iron, zinc, and boron. If it says complete or with micronutrients, that's a bonus. Always read the back, too. How much to use, how often, and whether to water it. Over-fertilizing can actually hurt your plants. Now you know how to read the label like a pro. It's not just numbers, it's a blueprint for healthy plants. So next time you're at the garden center, you know exactly what you're getting. We have a companion to this online in our blog with all different types of information for you. And if you like us, follow along for more gardening tips and drop a comment if you've got a mystery bag in your shed you want help deciphering or can add to the conversation. Thanks.